Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Right, okay, so let's see. Hold on a second, I thought it was going to... Alright, who's been messing around with the review queue? Okay, that's it. Security! Welcome on an NHE footer of the Civil Game Reviews here. When a person makes a promise to a family member, especially a younger nephew, he keeps it. A few years ago, I promised my younger nephew that he would help me do a review of Fortnite. Unfortunately, by the time I got round to it, it was too late for me to even start. Instead, I invited my younger nephew to do the reading of this review for me. So, Harry, my nephew, over to you. What is up everyone? This time as a change of plans, I review the latest addition to the video game ad adaptation to one of the most popular animes on the market. Can Jolene stop Father Pucci or will he achieve for the plan for heaven? Let's find out. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is one of the most popular animes in the world. At a push, it comes close to the popularity of the big three. The first episode of this anime was first broadcast on the 6th of October 2012. Since then, this franchise has gone from strength to strength as the season progresses. Fun fact! Did you know that this particular series started from a manga? The particular game is a remastered version of the PS3 exclusive fighting game under the same name. You pick a character from the diverse roster of characters from the various parts or series of the TV show and manga, then take to the battlefield with your stands. The accessibility score are as follows. Visibility, 9.5. This get the negative out the way. Initially, there is only one outfit and color combination for that character. There is, however, a way to unlock additional characters and outfits. Most of them are references, but to be fair, everything in this world are Jojo references. However, there's only one way to unlock all of these outfits and additional colours. It's through grinding, which can be problematic when taking into consideration players with visual impairments. Audibility, 9. There are subtitles in this game, which can be enabled and disabled via the option menu. I mean, all the dialogue in this game is Japanese, so good luck translating the dialogue without this feature enabled. Mobility 10. As part of the course for a fighting game, you can customise button layouts to suit your appearance in a highly competitive environment. For example, fighting games where a single frame in play to it bridge the gap between victory and defeat. This feature is a lifeline for players with mobility issues. Gameplay, eight. This game has bags of content for you to play through. The online mission mode adds more content to the game. However, the offline single player content seems a little lackluster when paired with other traditional fighting games. For example, Tekken 7 and the Xbox 360 reboot of Mortal Kombat. Which makes this game truly stand out from the crowd is that the game incorporates assist attacks similar to tag fighters. This adds a lot more depth in the game as you work out which character slash assist combination works best for you. Gameplay wise, this is very easy to pick up and play. And as a case in point, there is an easy beat mode. This extends the input windows, allowing you to play special moves and combat attacks a lot easier. This feature evens out the playing field when playing against a player with mobility impairment. In summary, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures All-Star Battle R has a lot of polish. The roster of characters for you to choose is extensive, spanning from Jonathan Joestar from part, part 1 to Father Pucci from part 6 to the legendary vampiric badass Dio from Stardust Crusaders. So if you are a Jojo fanatic looking for a 2D fighter to keep you hyped up, 
and your work. Reflex is high, Street Fighter 6 releases in the summer. This game is highly recommended. Overall score, 91.25%. See you guys in the next review. Haza, and I'm speaking for my uncle here, Spartan Commander, 1990, out. Thank you.